Okay, Assalamualaikum dan selamat uh, petang So hari ni saya akan meneruskan Untuk uh, Subject and security Okay chapter 2 Subject to 2.2 eh. Prepare uh, devices and, and Services used to enhance Network security Okay so last time Okay kita dah habis 2.1 Okay di mana 2.1 Okay, bercerita berkenaan how can you display the network Okay, and then uh, wired and wireless Okay, for network communication lah Okay, so for 2.2, we will learn about uh, network services Okay, to enhance network security And you need to be able to explain about specialized device that used to enhance network security So because we are using a Cisco syllabus, so the specialized device is of course uh, regarding a Cisco equipment. Okay. So, uh, so in this, uh, that I don't have this uh, video tutorial, but basically for the security device, okay, then we have uh, a lot of um, feature, okay. For security okay in access layer we have access layer is which eh? we have port security we have dynamic arp inspection and the acp scoping okay in distribution layer okay distribution layer uh you can have access list for layer 3 firewall means we have firewall so in this subject you will learn about firewall okay so we you will learn more about firewall in chapter three later on eh? so in this chapter you will uh, it's more into theory part lah okay then you have also Kisiko has also the you post that for firewall okay so the firewalls used to permit and deny traffic based on ip address and ports so port can be tcp can be udp okay and then we have core layer router eh? So, uh, in the core layer, okay, firewall, eh, we can uh, have proxy firewall, we can have web proxy firewall, we can have email proxy firewall, we can have SSL security appliance. So, SSL usually we use for HTTPS, uh, usually use for web server. We can have IDS, IDS is intrusion detection system, okay, IPS, intrusion prevention system, and we can also have for wireless network is the encryption okay usually uh, we use wpa2 lah okay all right so what is firewall so firewall as you can see in bahasa melayu is temu api lah kan okay so firewall is a device that need to be resistant to network attack so whatever attack that happen hmm. the firewall must be able to block okay and all traffic should be flow to the firewall okay the traffic cannot overpass or bypass the firewall it must go to the firewall so the firewall can check the packet okay of the web bit by bit okay and the firewall usually enforce the access control policy so in network if you have when you talk about firewall okay, you have access control policy okay so there are several benefit of firewall Okay, the first one is is prevent the exposure of sensitive host resources. So all these are from untrusted users. So all these uh, resources, okay, for those who are not authorized, okay, we can limit. So not supposed to have the information. They cannot go into that particular uh, resources. Okay. And firewall can also sanitize the protocol flow. Okay, the flow of the protocol. Eh? Okay, the boleh tengok satu-satu, dia boleh check. Okay, so mana yang dia cakap, eh, this one must macam malicious lah. Ada something wrong, ada hidden. So, they can block. Okay, that's usually the block that's on signature lah. Okay, that's what I feel proud about the signature. Okay, block malicious data from server and client. Okay, if server or client tu ada something fishy, Okay, mungkin the too many ping, too the packet are too large, uh, it been sent over, over time, over time, there's something wrong. Okay, and reduce security management complexity. Okay, alright, but they also have a uh, limitation. Okay, if you configure firewall, okay, incorrectly, okay, you will have a certain consequences. 
Satu contohnya If let's say the organization has a billing server Okay Might be you uh, deny the port number for the billing Let's say lah You don't know what port is this What application use this port you do not know But why there is a traffic issue just suddenly block So suddenly the application can be used So maybe a bad thing lah So kalau nak guna Nak uh, configure firewall Then configure dengan button Okay And the data from many application cannot be passed or through firewall securely. And this one, the third one, eh? user usually have a way, okay, to receive the block material. Ah, usually they can use VPN. Okay, VPN biasanya the data is encapsulated. So when encapsulated data, it will go to the firewall. Sometimes firewall cannot read the uh, data, so they cannot know if it is connected to the malicious software. Ah. Uh, script or what lah okay and the port why it can slow down the performance of network why it can slow down because the firewall need to check one by one okay all the packet that go through okay so firewall eh so they have a lot type of firewall so this is the common one okay packet filtering okay packet filtering usually known as stateless Okay, so this one usually is a part of firewall router. Okay, so this one usually work in layer three or layer four. Okay, and step four firewall. Okay, so step four firewall usually the block is on traffic based on step four protocol. So step four firewall is much more simple lah, usually. Eh? Alright, so step for firewall usually the upper monitor that for the first connection to open until the connection is closed. Okay, okay. We can also have application gateway firewall. Okay, this one we call as a proxy firewall. So now there are many organizations use the proxy firewall because they can have it uh, open source. There are some of it open source. Eh? Okay, host space firewall. Okay, usually this is used in a PC. Okay. Transparent firewall, okay, and hybrid firewall. So hybrid firewall means a lot of combination of firewall being used lah, and it interconnected with each other. Okay, now so we go to packet filtering. Eh? So as you can see here, that the last time, okay, I did say, okay, packet filtering works in layer three and layer four. So why it, where is layer three and four? It should be network and transport. So where is network transport? There are a lot of more, uh information that they can block lah instead uh, they can have first all source IP, destination, protocol, port number okay okay receive lah okay so usually this one okay use a simple policy untuk table lookup okay different with the step for firewall the step for firewall is most common and usually memang digunakan uh, by a big a big company lah because it's much more better. Why? Because it can support from layer 3 up to layer 5. Okay. If packet filtering only 3 and 4. But for step 4, 3 and 5. Means until session. So it means they have a lot of uh, more uh, access list. Okay. They can uh, filter. Uh. Alright. Then we can also have a next generation firewall. Eh? So for next generation firewall, usually eh, they are like they have a capabilities of step for infection. Means they can have a uh, special of from layer 3, 4 and 5. Okay. And usually for next generation, we call NG firewall. Eh. Usually they integrate a simple intrusion prevention or maybe a bigger, uh, a more complicated lah, intrusion prevention system. So if they detect, we can uh, prevent okay so uh, I will go next to the detection okay detection. and you call the IPS IPS devices eh? so common characteristic of IDS and IPS okay so if let's say you want to deploy okay the next generation for you uh, for your wallet eh? okay with the common system of IDS and IPS okay all this kind of um uh, what we call it device IPS and IPS they use a uh, technology known as a sensor okay sensor mean it can be a software based it can also be a hardware based 
okay but the thing is uh, they can use uh, to detect a pattern so it means if you want to uh, de deploy IDS or IDS you need uh, to have a signature updated signature for each of the IDS and IPS so let's say the traffic go let's say this is the sensor okay configure in the switch let's say lah switch okay let's say okay this is switch eh? alright uh, intelligent switch okay so let's say the packet from outside come to the internal okay but uh, the sensor okay can detect something wrong with the packet or with the data okay based on i don't know maybe the detection maybe the behavior based or maybe the animal based okay then it will automatically detect and prevent okay so that is uh devices lah for ips and ips so the advantage what is the advantage of ips and ips okay so you need to know eh, ids is a different thing uh, ips is a different thing ids is intuition detection system mean the detect something wrong Okay, especially the malware lah, the attack, the attack part. Okay, IPS is intrusion prevention system. Okay, then it to detect, then you can prevent. You cannot prevent, then detect cannot. It must be detection, then prevention. Okay, so the, advan the advantage of ITS, okay, usually, it don't have impact on network. Because why? Because it just sensor with listening uh, capability. You can uh, then listen, uh, the uh, check with the signature okay the disadvantage of ITS uh, they don't have action to stop or trigger the packet okay because they're into uh, detection on okay they cannot correct the uh, action okay IPS what is the advantage uh, the good thing about IPS is that it can uh, stop if they find that particular packet is wrong it, or maybe the packet is a is a script for a malware let's say yeah? okay embedded in the data of what the user downloading okay they can uh, prevent it okay but the disadvantage is this session sensor for IPS can overload and impact the network okay so next type of IPS so IPS okay in our uh, syllabus of Cisco okay they just give you only two type of IPS okay the first one is post space the second one is network based because this is related to network but actually in real world they have, we have actually four they have another one is application based and another one is uh, hybrid okay so but that this two is not in your uh, syllabus okay this one is other our Previous syllabus, your uh, senior, they learn about that lah. Okay, so what the difference between host base and network base? For the host base, okay, means usually it's a software, okay, install and a single monitor to monitor and analyze suspicious activity. So usually the host base is usually for a uh, end user, or a web server, install in a client usually. So it can be antivirus software can be malware so we can also be a firewall okay what is network based IPS so the network based IPS is uh, different than host based because network based it can be software based it can also be uh, hardware based so usually the hardware based is much more uh, expensive okay so for network based IPS okay usually that was called dedicated or non dedicated eh? so dedicated you Usually is equal to hardware or oh, non-dedicated usually is a software that you can install in any uh, in any PC let's say and the PC will be uh, acting like a real equipment for the IPS okay so this kind of network based IPS they can uh, they can detect malicious or activity in real time okay means what it connected to the network whatever packet that uh, go through okay they can sense okay the signature lah so this below one is the advantage and disadvantage so this one you can read it yourself 
Can we go to the ah okay specialized security appliance? So let uh just like I said previously, so we are in a Cisco uh, new package syllabus, right? So it's especially so it must be about Cisco devices, okay? So actually, what in out there in the world, actually they have a lot of appliances, okay? Not limited to Cisco only. They have a lot of model, they have a lot of uh, manufacture, okay? But in this universe, we only know about Cisco. So Cisco, they have three, okay, for specialized security appliances. The first one is Cisco Advanced Malware Protection, called as AMP. So this one is enterprise class. Okay, for malware analysis and solution. So this one, they have a detection sensor. Okay, for organization before, during, and after attack. So let's say the organization apply this AMP in their organization. Let's say they have a DDoS in the server. They can know before, after, and attack. Okay, this device will able have the ability to do. Uh, with the uh, rules uh, that you did updated the signature okay and the second one we have uh, Cisco web security appliance not as WSA with cloud web security okay it must work together okay so WSA protect the network by automatically blocking the key site uh, usually this one we use for a uh, web okay for user lah. okay we'll go to internet okay so you see when you see that there are this key site the, the site might be infected with the javascript so the when user click the javascript with the uh, uh with the torture host will be auto downloaded so this wsa will automatically block okay so the good thing about wsa is it provide malware protection application visibility and they have a uh, is reporting okay so for CWS, okay, for cloud web security, okay, they enforce secure communication to and from internet. So this one must work together, lah. And the last one is for the email, okay, we call it Cisco Email Security Appliance. So sometimes they are a uh, uh, malware, okay, or ransomware, okay, infected using an email. So Cisco have this appliance for email system. Okay, so if the company is a big company, they have their own uh, email server, so they can use this one. Lah. Okay, so this is how the hardware look. Okay, as you can see, alright, uh, they have a different look. Okay, so for more information, you can Google yourself. Okay, now, uh, okay, so video tutorial. So I don't have the video tutorial. So basically, for security devices, ah, eh, uh, they have an IDS. We have an IDF. So IDS is to uh, scan packet against security signatures. Okay, that's why I always say, if you want to use IDS, if you want to use IPS, you need to have a signature update to the signatures. Okay, if you have but you never update, is uh, it's not very good, lah. Because the attack always evolve. Okay, so every day they always have a bug. So every day they have patch update for the signature. Okay. Okay, and for the AAA, Authentication Organization Accounting, okay, that to configure, handle all the network. Okay, then you have a NetFlow and simple network protocol. Uh, management protocol. Okay, next I will go with the security services. Okay, traffic control with SEL. Yes, this is a good one. So we will have all that regarding SEL, a simple lab. Eh? But on the next chapter, we have a lot of lab about SEL. Of SEL, IPv4, IPv6. Okay, so what is SEL? Okay, SEL is access control list. Okay. It's a series of commands that control whether a device forward, forward, or drop packet based on information in packet header. So, SEL they can limit traffic to increase network performance, it can provide traffic flow control, it can provide basic level security, it can filter traffic based on traffic type, and it can screen force to permit or deny access to network devices. So, SES, when you configure SES, usually we configure 
the SCL in a router or in a firewall, Cisco firewall. Okay, we have an SCL. So you need to, to be careful with your figure SCL. The most general one, sorry, the most general one should be the last, the bottom. The most specific goal should be on the top, the first one. Okay, if you arrange your SCL list, uh, uh, incorrectly, okay, then it will affect your network. Where is uh, what the thing that you want to block or you want to uh, permit will be different. Okay, it's got incorrect computer. So you need to be careful when you computer SCL. Okay, so like this lah. Okay, so this is example lah. You can put the SCL here, here, and here. Okay, so as you can see, this is all is a, uh, I think this is a standard SEL. Okay, so actually SEL you have learned in a previous, I think in other subject, uh, I think this is routing. Okay, so SEL they have two types. The first is a standard, the second, eh, the first is standard, the second is extended. Okay, so as you can know, you should was to know should remember eh, for standard always at the destination near the destination okay so as you can see here PC1 want to go to internet so destination destination okay so other one is extended so extended must be near the source okay because it can copy it can block a more when you go to here near the source so the important features of SCL, eh? okay, this one I say standard and extended, eh? So standard, okay, uh, stop us. Okay, for standard, usually we permit or deny based on source IP address. Okay, simple, very simple. But for extended, usually we um, filter based on this all attribute. You can based on protocol type, source of IP address, destination, source TCP, UDP, distance TCP, UDP, and type of a protocol. Okay, it's optional lah. So it's it's much more specific if you use a standard SCL. Okay, so what of it can be created using a number of a name? Okay, you can create your extended or standard using a name. Let's say, ah. Uh, SCL, okay. Branch, okay. SCL, human resource, atau if you want to use a number, SCL one, SCL two. But all this it must be in a group lah, okay. But in best practice, actually, for you to create SCL using a name, why? Because when you have a lot of SCL in a real world situation, eh, when you have a lot of SCL, if you don't define based on a name, you use based on a numbers okay let's say you are the one who configure the SEL so let's say after two years three years okay you go to other company you get a new job so another one new person will come and take over your job if you don't do it based on the name the person will not know standard access or standard access list for one is for what uh, 10 is for what uh, 11 is for what they do not know so then they will be have a hassle you will burden to them to check one by one so but if you use it based on name okay when they read the name they know oh, this is for branch okay, this is uh, for the hq or this one is for the uh human resource so the identity for them eh? all right so the last one can have a lock lah. okay so I will go to the next. Uh, okay, this one SEL demonstration. Okay, this one I will do later on. Eh? Okay, so but this I already give you um, in a CDOS. So I hope after you uh, watch my video, uh, please download. Okay, please test. Okay, please try yourself first. Okay. Okay, now. A little bit more, eh? Okay, now I want to explain about the okay when about security in a network. It must be a simple network management protocol. Why we also know as an MP? 
quite expensive because this protocol that allow administration to manage a device either is a end device okay so PC printer or a network device counter switch all use the same protocol so SMP can have a manager management software and agent the node and monitor so all information will be in MIB so if let's say you are a network okay network guys okay you have a lot of router you need to use this SMP protocol because you want to know which router is down which switches is problem which the quality of the uh, port if you don't have SMP, you will have a lot of problem. You have a lot, let's say, 100 switches plus uh, router. Uh, it's not uh, also the user. Let's say the user will have about around 500. How can you know all about the information if you don't have some kind of uh, photo, uh, some kind of uh, element okay, to detect? The problem so that's why you need this particular SNMP okay so in Cisco they also have a net flow net flow technology that provides statistic of packet flowing through a Cisco router or multi-layer switch okay so net flow they will able to monitor okay planning and traffic analysis for billing purpose okay so as Besides that, okay, uh, Cisco switch, okay, allow also allow for duplicate copies of traffic passing through a switch sent out with a network monitor attached. Ah, this is called as a port mirroring. So whatever information that go into the switch can also copy to the packet analyzer. Okay, so if something wrong, there are a lot of packet, ah, uh, packet, ah. Uh, discarded okay you can do the formula ring and you can see what happened okay all right so so as you can see for a security okay the most important thing is you need to have a lock okay a lock if you do not have a lock let's say you have been attacked let's say by the thieves okay how do you know when the thieves happen who come inside the uh, network they are using what account? They are using uh, they are from where? So this lock is always very important. Okay, to uh, access the system message. So this lock provide three primary function. Eh? The first gather lock information for monitoring and troubleshooting. Second, select the type of log information capture, and the third specify the destination of capture this lock message. Okay, other than that, we should have a synchronous NTP. Okay, NTP actually is from a networking time protocol. Eh? So, we need to synchronize all the time setting for all the strata in your network and your end device. This must be have to be set as a master clock. What's important? Because let's say if you have been uh, attacked, okay? If the NTP is not synchronized, you will see the attack happen at different time of actually for what happened. Okay, so you can see this one kena pukul 8, this one kena pukul 8, pukul 8 setengah. So there are some uh, different, maybe the, uh, dalam 30 minit. So it will give a lot of uh, different when you do a forensic. Okay, so this one network. NTP server, the no astrata, they can have try for 1, 0, 2 and low, yeah, lower lah. So this one, saya rasa lebih baik anda baca lah. Tapi yang paling bagus ada strata 0 because the high position dia lebih tinggi. Okay, dia tak nak ada delay, mesti terus attack. Okay, so like this. Okay. Alright, uh, other than that, okay, to security services, we can also implement AAA server Okay, AAA server ni biasanya kita guna radio server AAA ni mean for authentication, authorization and accounting Mean, if let's say the user want to go inside uh, the network or you want, the user want to use uh, the 
uh, work station okay, in the uh, company okay, they need to have an access okay, so work station need to be configured with the username and password you can personally give a proof without credential it's the same also when you configure for Wi-Fi so you want the Wi-Fi to be only connected by a, by a staff Okay, so you need to have an authentication and encryption enabled. You cannot give the wireless as a free access or without authentication. Because if you do that, anyone can go inside the wireless and it can affect uh, the performance once. And the second one is, let's say, uh, they are uh, script TVs. They can use that to attack the server. They know the IP lah. Okay, because they can uh, use the sleep passing. Sniffing ya, tools to sniff tool, sniff saja semua yang akan say hello kan ni dah akan nampak mana mana. Okay, so macam saya cakap previous lah. Okay, ada some common ni dia gunakan tekek. Okay, so main tips is ada the different. Okay, alright. Other than that, you can employ VPN. So you can see eh, so VPN is our virtual private network lah. So the protocol you can use IPsec, okay. Other one is L L two TP. Ah, so VPN the other, beberapa lah. So the beauty thing about VPN is ah uh, the connection is encrypted. It cannot be ah uh, even it's been sniff, okay. The people who sniff cannot crack the encryption, okay. Alright, so as you can see, okay. Traffic control eh, you can use first, you can use SNMP, okay, you can use as a slow, NTP, you can use server, and as you go, okay, and VPN. So, there are like of five services you can use in your network for security, okay. So, that's all for today, okay. I will continue for subject 3. 2.3 another time. Alright, bye bye. Thank you.